Hi everyone. So this is the next bit in the pack. Depending on how well we do on the, not the, the previous one, but the one before. This could either be the second half of your third lesson or the start of your fourth lesson. Um, I kind of need to show you two ways of doing these questions. And one is based on if a question tells you um, it's using an algebra type thing. So I might say that a root is alpha. And what we need to do is think about from the graph all the values and it gets a little bit confusing. So part of, just this just this part here is just making sure that we're aware that two lots are cos x. So that's cos x is really 0 0.4 isn't the same as cos of 2x because that's a stretch. Oops, can't spell stretch. In the y axis, whereas that's a stretch in the x axis. So the graph looks very different. Right, so how do we do it then? I've got to show you two ways. So the first way is like the really, really old full way, which we used to do if we were using algebra. So before we had graphical calculators, just in case. Right. So my plan is still to graph cos. So in terms of a plan, I'm still going to graph cos x. But because it's a 2x, I'm going to look twice as far. So I'm going to look from 0 to 720 with the cos graph. Right, so I do cos 2x is 0 0.8. So 2x is the inverse cos of 0 0.8. Just grab my calculator. So run menu, I'm in radians, so quick change over, shift and menu. So I've got degrees. I'm just going to delete the thing so it's delete all, so it's gone. Yeah. Right, so shift cos, shift cos, 0.8. Gives me 2x is 36.9 degrees. Now I'm going to leave that like that. So this is the long way, and I'll try and squeeze in somewhere the short one as well. So I'm looking from 0 to 3 to 720 now. So I'm going to do menu and 5. So I do this way if it's an algebra type question. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of all this junk here from whatever somebody else was doing, looking at all sorts of differentials. So I'm going to graph cos x. I'm going to graph 0 0.8. So my answers are going to be 0 to 360, but I'm going to look from 0 to 720. So 0 to 720, set my scale as 45, it's a sine or a cos graph, so I'll do minus 1.1 to 1.1. Kind of twitching about showing you this word, because you've got your calculators. Right, so what that gives me is a graph that's got two all the way up to 720, with a line going across at 0 0.8. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking twice as far, and I'm looking for 2x. So if I do my g-solve and my intersect, it gives me the 36.9 that I had before. It gives me 323.1. 3. It gives me 396.9. It gives me 683.1. Now that's for 2x because I've looked twice as far. 
And I've got a major twitch on about this because it's so hard to teach you this stuff. So now I half it, and that gives me about 18.4, 161.1, 192.1, 1.6. So the reason I'm doing this this way, where if it's a 2x, I'll look twice as far, I get all my answers and then a half all my answers as if it's an algebra. If it asks you just to do it, so if it's nothing, if it's just get on with it and do it, it's much easier. So I'm going to move that a bit more plus one. I just graph what I see. So if it's not, if it's straightforward, I just graph what I see. So the idea with this one is that was, it was going in, so there's a 360. It was going in from 360, going away from 360, coming back from 720. That's where the numbers have come from. Graph what I see. So I'm going to graph cos 2x. I'm going to graph... 0.8. I still do this part. That bit there is important from menu 1. And I still leave that as 2x. But I'm just going to graph cos x and I'm going to do it between 0 and 360. I'll probably need to go through these again with you in class. So if I change that. So 2x change the axes to 360. I've got the same picture, but from 0 to 360. But this time, the values are just for x. So it's giving me the final answers. So if I do g solve and intersect, what my own seven minutes, it gives me the 18.4. It gives me the 161.1. Is that 05? Have I got that one right? There's a pack got that one right, so I'm just using the numbers off it. 161.6, one, that should be. Can we spot that? 198.4. I'm huffing and a puffing while I do this because it's so difficult. So I'm showing you two different ways of doing the same thing. And a 341.6. And one comes from the fact that I'm, I'm sticking with X, but looking twice as far. So I'm hoping that for the majority of stuff we want to do, it's just that. Well, this helps with that. The, the other one helps us with algebra questions, because I can look in both ways. I can use it, the properties of symmetry. I'm going to stop there. Um, yeah, I'm stopping there. <laughs>